Stan Lee, Gary Conway, John Romita Sr. and Gil Kane. This group of artists are the responsible for the story that single-handedly ended the Silver Age of comics. Without Gwen's death, comic books wouldn't be the same today. Something like this was just unheard of back then. To kill such an important character, and out of nowhere. And the funny part is that there was a time when it hardly seemed as if Peter and Gwen were destined for one another. But that changed over time and they fell in love. Regrettably, it was a love that was not to last. As always, fate conspired against Peter. It seemed as if tragedy virtually defined his existence right from the sudden murder of his Uncle Ben, the key event that shaped Peter Parker's future. The Stacys, too, had been no strangers to such horrid events. As we'll learn in this book, Captain Stacy, Gwen's father, was killed when a building cornice fell on him as he pushed a child from harm's way. His daughter was devastated by that. Spider-Man was blamed, and it always came back to him. I won't spoil for you the details of that event, for you might want to find out yourselves. The two issues which related to Gwen's untimely death had a palpable aura of gloom and foreboding that never left. We are intrigued by the way it opens. Harry Osborn is seen dealing with his drug-induced trauma. And everyone seemed tormented by this melodrama. This story is mainly about facing responsibility for your actions in life. And we can see that in Mary Jane and Peter's guilt, where she blames herself for Harry's downfall on drugs for breaking up with him. And Peter obviously blames himself for Gwen's death. But that brings another question. Was she already dead when the goblin placed her atop the bridge? Was it as the goblin said, the fall killed her? Which I highly doubt. Or did Spider-Man unknowingly break her neck when he shot out his web to stop her fatal fall? No one seemed to know who added that famous snap sound effect in that critical panel which put a finger of blame at her would-be rescuer. Regardless of that, the real author was and will always be the Green Goblin. Now, on the responsibility theme again, for every action there is a reaction. For example, Norman Osborn and his decision of taking no responsibility for his actions in his life. That led into his doom. Peter's decision not to love ever again led into Mary Jane's decision to love for the first time and be there for Peter as his friend. And as we all know, that was what made it possible for them to fall in love and get married in the future. I can't recommend this book enough. It's a great Spider-Man story. It's a compelling story. And above all, it's a story that will leave a mark on you. Whether if it's in your mind or in your heart depends on you. So as always, thanks for watching and see you next time.